When I was replenishing the money I blew in those accounts, I had to work a secondary job to earn it back. It took a lot of effort to regain that money, and just when I managed to do it, I found myself in the same situation again. However, I didn't lose hope. Despite cursing and ranting the whole time, I knew I had to persevere. I wanted to quit the extra job I was working, but I understood that nothing would change unless I took action. You have to put your feet to the ground and say, I'm digging my heels in. I knew it would be hard, with pushback, and requiring me to invest time into it, especially when my friends were out having fun on weekends. While they were partying, I was studying charts and dedicating myself to a different lifestyle. They might be out there chasing temporary pleasures, driving beat-up cars, and not accomplishing much, but I knew I was on a different path. I could envision pulling down annual salaries in a week that they couldn't even imagine. Your potential is far greater than you think. Strip away the limitations you've placed on yourself, break free from your own mindset. When you reach certain milestones, like making 60 dollars a year, you'll realize it wasn't as hard as you thought. Then you'll aim higher, hitting 250 dollars or even more in less time than you imagined. The journey teaches you patience. At first, you might be chasing after every opportunity, but it's better to sit still and observe. Learn about the marketplace, understand your own desires, and refine your approach. Don't trade like a hyena, making impulsive moves. Instead, stalk the market patiently, waiting for the right opportunity to strike. Ignore the noise of others. Focus on your own strategy. You don't need to worry about what other traders are doing or what indicators they're using. Trust your instincts, stick to your plan, and execute with confidence. That's how you achieve success in trading. I'm not worried about anything else. I'm dialed in. I know exactly what I'm hunting, and I've got my eyes set on it. I'm going to run it down and take it home. That's not arrogance. That's not narcissism. That's confidence. I've been here enough times to know that what I'm doing works. I don't need to change it or look at somebody else to make it better. I'm not considering any retail logic because it's not even in the equation. I'm attacking like an apex predator, targeting the weakest traders in this industry when they're most vulnerable. Whatever you can do with the least, if you have a measurable outcome, is more often than not delivered to you based on a model you're working with. When you repeat the same procedure over and over again, like a cookie cutter, you expect consistent results. Just like pressing a star-shaped cookie cutter into dough will always give you a star-shaped cookie, your model should consistently produce the desired outcome. Your job is to find trade setups and execute your model flawlessly. Demanding more than that is foolishness. Initially, the results may seem irrelevant, as you're focused on replicating success consistently over time. As you build your sample set over days, weeks, and months, you'll find it becomes easier. The goal is to make it boring, knowing exactly what you'll do each day. For example, on Wednesday morning next week, you'll go out there and find 10 handles in S&P, or perhaps 30 handles. I know without a doubt that I'll conquer the NASDAQ. It's not just a belief, it's a certainty. When I lay my head down tonight, I won't be wondering if I can trade next week or find a setup. It's a given. That level of confidence is something you can't fully appreciate until you have it. Many traders, even profitable ones, still view the market as random. But it's only random if you're relying on countless variables like Elliott Wave Theory or jumping from one strategy to another. I trade on constants. I know where the liquidity is, where the inefficiencies lie, and how economic calendars will inject volatility at specific times. I'm not clueless. I'm not confused. I know precisely when to step into the market, tap dance all over it, and moonwalk out with a bounty whenever I please. And once you learn how to do it, you'll feel the same confidence. When I finally mastered it, I was on top of the world. Sure, I might come off as arrogant now, but I'm just stating facts and backing them up every day. You might not want to accept it because you haven't achieved it yet. You might think you've put in the effort by watching videos or scribbling notes, but that's just half-assing it. And if you're only giving half the effort, don't be surprised when you get half-assed results. Remember, this is your career. You're learning how to operate and run a business. When you incorporate this mindset, you'll face people trying to tear you down constantly. The more success you have, the more they'll come at you. Are you going to live your life worrying about what they'll say about you? These people are losers. 
The fact that they spend their time talking about you shows their true colors. Nobody successful spends time talking about others. Keep your focus on your business, and nobody else will mind it. Stay out of everybody else's business, and they'll stay out of yours. Keep your head in the charts. Continually build and understand yourself. Identify your mistakes, fears, anxieties, and overzealous tendencies. It's like pruning a money tree. I am a money-making dynamo. I could start from scratch and within 12 months become a multimillionaire again. Do you feel that confident about yourself? Everything I've talked about today hinges on one skill set, resilience. It's tough, really tough if you're new and inexperienced. Every fluctuation feels like a threat, but trust your model. If it goes against you, it's not a failure. It's just a part of the process. Your appreciation for your models and approaches will only grow over time. You're at the beginning of your journey, and I envy you. I miss those moments of astonishment when I'd see something and it delivered perfectly. Embrace the journey, stay focused, and success will follow. Those moments of astonishment are truly amazing. They're those epiphanies, those instances where the veil is lifted and you see the market for what it truly is in its binary form. It's akin to when Neo in The Matrix finally comprehends who he is and where he's situated. He doesn't perceive the people in front of him as adversaries throwing punches. Instead, it's all zeros and ones. He anticipates their moves before they execute them. That's the macro perspective we strive for. In closing, it's crucial to guard your mind. Especially in the beginning, start with the least exposure to risk. Because if you can't make progress with minimal risk, it won't matter how much more risk you accumulate. Whether you're dealing with 15 contracts or just one micro lot, if your approach is flawed, the market will inevitably show you. Do you really need maximum pain, expense, or discomfort to recognize you're not following the model correctly? Some of you might argue, I have to learn with real money. But what you're essentially saying is, I'm willing to risk being wrong because I don't know any better. The truth is, you can learn without financial risk without enduring unnecessary hardships. That's the reality. Books and mentors won't teach you that way. It's sugar-free as it should be. You want it to taste sweet, but sugar is a disease. Cut it out, just like you're cutting out cigar from your diet for better health. In trading, stick to the meat and potatoes, the fundamentals. Always remember, confidence in trading isn't just about executing trades with real money. It's about mastering your strategy understanding the market, and having unwavering faith in your approach. So, start small, learn without unnecessary risks, and watch as your confidence grows along with your success in trading.